Hi there. This video is going to be all about the makeover that my garden got this year. So stick around and watch with me. I'm Lainey and this garden got a complete makeover this year and I wanted to share with you guys the whole timeline, how long it took and uh, where I started to where we are now. So in the next six minutes or so, we're gonna watch the video together and I'm going to quickly, really quickly explain to you uh, the whole timeline and the project. Let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start. Um, I know I started as early as July 5th and we start to clear out the beds that were there. Um, I had watermelon growing and so I thought I was gonna keep the watermelon but I accidentally cut the wrong vine so we ended up just tearing the whole thing out. And then one week later, um, in July, still mid-July, in the heat of the summer, we removed a tree all by ourselves. Um, notice I'm in my bathing suit. We jumped in the pool right after that was done. I don't know what kind of tree that was. Uh, four weeks after that, we started to build the fence, um, which is behind me now. We hired um, the contractor who worked on our house and then we gave it about four weeks and then we started to really lay out the plan. We didn't really know how big to build the raised beds. So here we are just really laying it out and we use bamboo sticks and flags to help us really draw out what would actually fit in this area. Um, so if you guys have seen the pictures, you'll see that it's very narrow at the top and then uh, comes wider. So it's not a perfect rectangle. And so we had to measure out um, what would actually fit. And so by taking the drone up, I was able to take those points that I could see with the bamboo sticks and the string that we used to really see what it looked like. Then August 30th, my husband took out all of the raised beds, the old ones that he built. And from there, we had the grass removed. Um, we didn't do it ourselves, so we did pay someone to do it. Actually ended up working out because um, we would pay that again um, to actually have that done. And then we started building the beds. Um, so this is gonna be the two at the far end now. Um, these are the two narrowest. And with the right tools, really, this isn't a hard job to do. Um, I did help him, but I think towards the end, he was able to take care of it on his own. Um, but even you can see my son here, he even helped out a little bit. He had fun banging some nails and, you know, learning from dad um, how to build a raised bed. So those are the first two. And here I'm explaining that um, after we saw what size planks we actually get, um, we noticed that if I get six foot beds, I'm chopping off two feet of wood which then is a lot of wastage. So we modified the original plan. Um, so from six feet, they are now gonna be eight feet long. And then this one closest to me now is a four by four bed. And then we're able to continue. So that's also something to keep in mind, guys, if you're gonna build your own raised beds, keep in mind the planks of wood that you're gonna buy and then uh, factor in any wastage because you don't wanna waste too much. So, and here it is, yeah, it's totally fun times. <laughs> we look like we're having fun. We feel very accomplished at uh, what we've done. Ah, um, so we took a break there and then September 27th, I had a little run-in with neem oil. I was trying to kill thrips on an avocado tree, which landed me in the hospital. Um, apparently I'm really allergic to neem oil. I've been using it for three years. Um, but breathing it in um, landed me in the hospital. Anyway, here we are. Um, October 8th was the day, the most exciting day of the project because um, they've leveled the ground and the beds went in. Super exciting. And here's a little tour uh, where my vision is actually like really coming to life and super exciting. We had gravel dumped. I wanna say it was like five tons of gravel jumped in our, dumped in our driveway. And it had to be wheelbarrowed in uh, one wheelbarrow at a time. And then just leveling it all out. Um, 
I know a lot could have been done by us and we probably could have saved a lot of money, but we decided to pay and just get it done. Plus it was in the like still summertime really in October, it's still super hot. And shortly after that, at, right after the gravel was done and off the driveway, here comes the soil. Um, I bought eight yards and it all cost $240. Met this guy online um, through a Facebook group page and super nice guy. Then, um, soils in, uh, we decided to have these pavers put in. We wanted to have a little seating area. It's just a little six by six and it was so easy for these guys to do. Um, I guess if you know what you're doing, super simple. Um, these guys were really nice. Um, we actually went out and visited their nursery today. All right, and then you can see that the soil has been loaded and I can officially start planting. So from July uh, to October, uh, about three months, July, August, September, October. Yeah, three months. And then we just keep adding. So I don't think it'll ever be finished. And here's an example. Um, we bought the moon gate. It ended up being a really good deal. My husband found this um, by the Kinsman, Kinsman Company very easy to assemble and it looks super cool in the garden I think and yeah the really the hardest part of it was deciding where to put it and you can see us like hemming and hawing where to go and that's it that's pretty much it I mean it's changed since um, even this video was you know shot and when that drone was taken up because I actually have another raised bed because from the drone shot you can see that um, I could fit another long raised bed in my pollinator area. So anyway, that is it. Thanks for joining me. I hope you guys found it helpful, at least just to see uh, what it's transformed into. So thank you for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can see what else I'm up to in this garden. And also find me on Instagram at Crazy Garden Laney to see me on my morning garden tours to see what I do on a daily basis.